Hello, welcome to Snowdonia Classic Campers. This is now one of the four VW camper vans that we have out on hire. And now it's the end of the season, so we thought it'd be a good idea to bring her in and do some much needed repair work to her. What we're going to be doing is putting a new door skin on the sliding door, a new door skin on the rear hatch, inner and outer sills and two jacking points on the near side. I've actually done the uh, sills and jacking points, I've taken the sliding door off and the rear hatch off and I've cut the outer skins off from both and shot blasted them and painted them in epoxy primer. Um, I'll show you those later on and I will also show you how I'm going to put the um, new door skins on them and weld them up and paint them etc and refit them. On top of that I want to be putting two new repair sections in the front fo floor pan. Um, it, it's, it's not terribly rusty but it's got a few pinholes in it and I think it would be a good idea to do it before it gets too bad and the rust spreads and causes, causes even more damage. So the first thing I want to be doing is getting the van up on wheel ramps so that we can have a look underneath and start cutting the floor out. But before we do that I'll show you the two doors and where I'm at with them and the repair panels that I'm going to be putting on them. So here are the two doors. The rear hatch and the sliding door and as you can see they've both had the outer skins cut off them and they've been shot blasted and epoxy primed. The rear hatch has got a bit of rust that needs repairing on it. Um, I've actually got a repair panel down there that I've made up that's going to be welded in and there is the um, new outer skin for it. Um, the one behind it is the outer skin for the sliding door. As you can see with the sliding door the um, repair panel only comes to halfway but I've cut off some more of the top part of the door to be able to shot blast the uh, behind the lip. So I'll have to make some repair panels for that. I've also welded on a new bottom section because that was totally rusted away. This is the uh, sill on the near side and the two new jacking points that I have welded on. Um, they need a bit more prep work for paint but I'll be painting them at the end when I've done the uh, doors and I'll paint them all at the same time. Now onto the uh, front floor pan that I'm going to be repairing. These are the repair panels that I've got to uh, weld in. a bit easier I'm going to take both front doors off um, which will make getting at the floor and cutting it out etc so much easier especially as I'm a bit limited with space here. Before I un undo the hinges I'm going to drill each hinge with a three and a half millimeter drill bit which will make putting the doors back on in the correct place much 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 easier. Seats as well. 
here you can see the rust that I'm talking about. You see there's some holes here and it's had several repairs before. It's had a patch in here, another one there. All of this has been patched. So it looks as though it's had quite a lot of remedial work over the past few years but it's got to the point where you know the whole thing's going to need replacing. The centre section is fine so that's why I'm leaving that but the driver's side is the worst side. The passenger side isn't as bad, it's still got a couple of holes in it and it has been patched before along here um, so I think the best thing is definitely to cut it all out and replace it. Okay next up is to remove the gear lever and the steering wheel so I'll start with the gear lever. I mean obviously as I'm not replacing the centre section I don't need to actually take the gear lever off but it'll just make life easier and stop me from poking myself in the eye. Okay, to remove the steering wheel, the first thing I need to do is disconnect um, the steering column from the steering box. And for that, I've got to get underneath the van. Okay, what we've got here is a 13mm hex bolt that we've got to get undone. disconnect the wiring. Um, before I do that though I'm going to take a picture of the wiring just to be on the safe side. I'm pretty sure I know which way, which way around they go colour wise but it always helps to have a photo of it. Now I can disconnect it. disconnecting the wiper wiring and the uh, sorry that's the wipers and this is the indicators um, I've got to also disconnect the um, ignition which is just here So that's all the wiring disconnected. Okay, next job is to undo these four 10mm bolts. I think what I'm going to have to do is go underneath and give it a knock, try and knock it off. So actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pry bar just to pry it off. Lift this off, there we go.
There we go, that's off. Okay, now it should come out, so I'll just put this bolt back in just to hold it in place, take that out. And here we go. Okay, next up I want to remove the clutch and brake pedal. And to do that, you need to go underneath and unbolt them. Okay, we'll start with the brake pedal, which is just here. It's two 13mm, sorry, one 13mm bolt, but it's quite stiff. So. off, just going to remove it from the inside. Now we need to do the clutch pedal. And that's the clutch pedal off. Okay, last job is to take the throttle pedal assembly off. So I'll start with the throttle pedal. Just pin out. Um, this throttle pedal isn't original. It's got this plate bolted on, but I'm going to put an original um, pedal back on with um, the, the correct bracket when I replace the floor. These bolts here, screws here, don't look as though they're going to come undone. I've already had a good look at them underneath and they are very 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 rusted so same with these ones. So I think I'm going to have to grind them off. the bracket but I can make a new one of those that's not a problem but the, this one over here I'm going to use a grinder on it instead of a cutting wheel <laughs> to do is to cut all the floors out ready for the new ones so until then I'll see you on the next episode <laughs>